guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be taking you on a food adventure to Western and Eastern Africa. So stay with me and I'll meet you in the kitchen. Hi guys, thank you for stopping by at Beezus Kitchen and more. If you're new to our channel, a very special welcome to you. I am Via. If you like our content, we'd appreciate you liking, sharing, and subscribing. Now, time for some cooking. Thank you for staying with us. So as I mentioned, we'll be going to Western and Eastern Africa for a traditional dish called cassava leaf. So we have the main ingredients, cassava leaf, which was frozen, now it's been thawed, goat meat, chicken, salt fish will be added, we have chili, onion, garlic, okro, also known as derere in shona, scallions, herbs and spices, palm oil, which is also a main ingredient, peanut butter, and old faithful rifle. We'll start the cooking process by washing our meat and putting it to boil. For the goat, instead of seasoning the meat by itself, I will add the seasoning to the meat while it's in the pot, which allow the seasoning to be infused quicker and thoroughly. Here, I have been boiling garlic and ginger in the water to which the meat will be added. The garlic and ginger also adds amazing flavor to your dishes. Now it's time to add our seasoning. So I use the keg brand, steak seasoning, carbon spice and roasted garlic, the cool running brand, parsley, royco and oregano. Then we mix all ingredients together. While the goat is cooking, I will prep our next meat. I first wash and clean my chicken. Since the chicken will go into the pot later on, I will pre-season it. Here I'm adding 2 tablespoons of Caribbean spice and roasted garlic. I also add the keg steak seasoning, some parsley, a little oregano, and seasoning away. The seasoned meat will be set aside in the fridge until it's time for it to be added to the pot. A quick check on our pot. It is time to now add our cassava leaf. I place the cassava in a bowl with two cups of water. I then use an immersion blender to blend it until a little bit smooth. The blending process is now completed. Now it's time to add our cassava leaves to the pot. Honey, don't let this green fool you at all. This smell is amazing. Instead of boiling our saltfish, I just place it in boiling water for a few minutes. Our pot is coming on perfectly fine. Let's just stir a little bit. Now it's time for our peanut butter to be added. So I mix quarter cup of water with 3 tablespoons of peanut butter. In between mixing, I add a, another tablespoon of water to ensure that the mixture with the peanut butter is smooth.
Now let's add our whisk peanut butter. It smells so good. Good, huh? Now it's time to add our additional seasoning. We start with okra, onion, garlic, scallion, and chili pepper. To be on the safe side when handling the pepper, I am wearing food grade gloves. I also add some pickled pepper rings, not too spicy, to give it an extra kick. Now let's add those seasoning. So we start by adding the onion, garlic and scallion, then our red pickled pepper. For additional flavor, I'm adding two teaspoons of fish seasoning. After 5 to 10 minutes, I then add our okra. We now add our salt fish. This dish is dedicated and inspired by my brother in law, Baba Amy who is from Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone can be found in Western Africa. The smell is so amazing. It is now time to add the palm oil. And I'll be adding one cup of same. It is almost time to add our chicken, but before we do, I will steam it for 10 minutes. We'll add a few dash of raiko to enhance the flavor. Ooh, what is that? Estimate the paste. Mmm, yeah, smells nice. We add some tomato paste to give it a savory kind of flavoring. The chicken is now being added to the almost ready stew. The main trick to cooking cassava leaf is that you add a specific ingredient every 30 minutes going forward. The process might be a bit long but the end result is worth it. The chili peppers are now being added. Being unable to measure the level of spice, we add a little at a time. 30 minutes of additional cooking, the cassava leaf stew is now ready. So now the cassava leaf is finished and I'm sharing dinner. A big shout out to my friend O'Shane who did an amazing job in printing the logo of Business Kitchen on the aprons. Now we have our finished product. What do you think guys? This looks so delicious. Trust me, I'm enjoying every bite of this. Wow, you're a pro at cooking. You like it? Mm, I, love, I like um, um this, mm -hmm. but um, what is it That's called? That's called cassava leaves. I like it, it's the first time I'm cooking it and I really enjoyed it. I really like this, these tiny red things. Okay. Yeah, they're really the cranberries. good. Cranberries. Cranberries are good. Okay, we'll um, finish your dinner, ma'am. Yes, mom, I'm kind of slow at eating. <laughs> mm. Bye. Bye. Subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.